guys, it's April. I've done several videos in which I've shown you a whole collection of books I've had on my bookshelf, mainly because I am simply terrified of giving a bookshelf tour because that could take weeks for me to put together and then edit and then it would probably be like 30 to 45 minutes long. I don't know who wants to sit through that. So I am periodically doing these little snippets of collections on my bookshelf and today I want to do my graphic novels slash manga slash comic collection. I have done several of these in the past. I've done all of my fairy tale collection with my mythology and all of those and then I have also done a retellings. So I will link them up there and down below as always because sometimes you just need to look at somebody just give you a list of books. I like to waste time that way. Now the next part on my bookshelf books, of course, I've already said, is going to be my graphic novel, manga, comic book haul. It's not as large as my fairy tales or my retellings. Obvious reasons because they're always so much more expensive and when I can get my hands on them, I do because I love art. So that makes sense. The first one you've seen fairly recently and that is graphic novel version of Wool by Hugh Howey. I absolutely love the Silo series so when I learned that this one existed I had to snatch it up. It's a sci-fi. I love sci-fi. This one is a little darker in nature in the illustrations and in the storyline. It had some of the essence of the original and it's something that will probably just stay on my shelf forever because I love Hugh Howey. Then Everything started up again with Star Wars and they came out with a Princess Leia comic book. Heck yes. I saw this on the bookshelf. I couldn't say no. Princess Leia is probably one of my all-time favorite characters. I grew up idolizing her. So this had to happen. I really, really enjoyed it. I got to see a little more into the Princess Leia character and plus visit all of the things. All of the things. Oh yeah. Way back when, when I started this booktube channel, I got the honor of my very first advanced reader's copy. I pretty much almost died when I found out that I was actually going to get this book, and that is The Tragedy Series by Benjamin Dewey. This is, this is the first book I ever reviewed on my channel. And I look back at it now and I cringe because I comment on some things that are only ever going to be present in the advanced reader copy for obvious reasons. Uh, yeah. You know, when you're starting out with something, things happen, and so I forgive myself a little bit with that review. I will link to it in case you want to just laugh your face off at who I was two years ago. Go do that. I won't judge. This is basically just one panel comics that are just all kinds of sardonic and sarcastic and all of those wonderful S words that describe just being awesome. So that is, that is this book. I've also talked about The Dreamer several times on this channel. This is by Laura Eines. It started out as a webcomic and they've periodically done volumes in which you can purchase. And so I've got the three volumes that I am aware are out. I am sitting on pins and needles waiting for volume number four. It is about a girl, Beatrice, who ends up in the past living through some of the events of the Revolutionary War. So it, it takes my love of history and it takes my love of supernatural and it just mushes it all together because I won't lie, when I was younger I used to daydream about just randomly showing up in different places, which is also why I really like Doctor Who. I absolutely love the style of the artwork in this novel. Mainly because it is so saturated and I love that saturated look. It's more inviting in my mind but it has to be done in a way that makes sense for the story because if you have an oversaturated illustration for a very dark story it's not gonna make sense. And apparently I have a My Little Ponies card just randomly thrown in this one. Yeah. Then there is the graphic novel of The Last Unicorn. I love this story by Peter Beagle. It is my childhood. A lot of things are my childhood. But this was the movie that I watched over and over again that my parents dreaded every time they asked what movie I wanted to watch. This came out of my mouth. I didn't know it was a novel until way later in my life and so I finally picked that one up and have read through it and then when I saw this one I nearly had a heart attack. Once again, 
The illustration style is very saturated. I mean, it's of course not nearly as in-depth and full as the novel is, but I still really enjoy looking at it. Then Meg Cabot decided to come out with a manga version of the continuation of the Avalon High series. I don't have the first one. I am still looking for volume number one. That is a mission I have. I haven't actually been able to dive into these ones yet. It's kind of bugging me because I really want to. I love the Avalon High novel. It's an Arthurian legend retelling. You can see how I'm really excited about this. And all I have to say is I don't really like the Disney adaptation of that book at all. But that is neither here nor there. Then I have Munging Spiral. That is a thing. Phantom Dreamer also a thing, and the Oron High School Host Club. And last but not least, this whole thing would not exist if this fandom was not a part of my life and hadn't invaded and taken over everything. Everything! And that, of course, is Sailor Moon. Yeah. So I have the original translations, or at least a couple of the originally translated manga. These are three volumes of the Sailor Moon series, and two volumes of the Star S series. As you can tell, they have been very Americanized and opened the wrong way, but I can deal with that. And then of course, with the anniversary and them doing the reboot, I have the reboot series, which I'm happy to say, now open the right way. This is the translation I am leaning more towards now that I know things about things. Really like this translation better. Back in the day when I was young and terrified of comic book stores, I still managed to get my hands on some of the original comic single things. These, these things, there, I have, there was no rhyme or reason to me picking these up. I don't even have them in chronological order. I just picked up whatever I could find, which of course made reading this whole series really hard. There are still pieces that I have not read. I have picked up things on the internet and read it that way, but I am on a mission, another mission. There's a lot of missions from this video, but another mission to complete my Sailor Moon series that needs to happen. So those are all of my graphic novel, manga, comic book things. Is there any more slashes that I can add to this right now? Because it's getting ridiculous. But those are all of the things. I am sure you guys are dying to tell me about your favorites. So tell me. I would like to know because I'm always looking forward to picking more up. I love hearing your guys' recommendations. So talk to me down below and I heart your beautiful faces. Bye.